Hello, and greetings from St. Margaret Mary on this Memorial Day weekend. Today we celebrate with the readings and Mass centered around the Ascension of our Lord. We ask you to fully participate from wherever you are joining us. Our opening song is a, a hymn of glory. We will use three verses. The words and music will appear on your screens. Greetings to all of you. Once again, we come together virtually to celebrate the Feast of Ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. And this week, this weekend, we also celebrate Memorial Day. And we remember all the men and women who gave their life for our nation and our freedom. We all know the freedom which we enjoy was never free, will be never free. It cost lots of life, and we gratefully remember those men and women who gave their life for us. So let us begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. As we celebrate the feast of, the solemn feast of Ascension, I also pray for one of my friends in India the couple celebrating their 50th anniversary of their wedding, Mr. Michael and Dana Ranjitham. So they are celebrating 50th anniversary, we pray for them. And collecting our thoughts together to celebrate this solemn feast. Jesus reminds the apostles as he was taken up to heaven, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And how well we bring that good news to others. Even in the times of challenge, like as we go through this coronavirus, how well we bring the good news of Jesus Christ to those people who are underprivileged. If not, let us ask for the grace and strength that we will always bear the good news to others. For the times that we forgot the promise we made at the baptism, 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> For the times we neglected to be like Christ and to bring Christ to others, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. For the times we do not we do not allow the Holy Spirit to freely work in and through us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to be. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in heaven, heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, 
It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. is thrown to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All peoples clap your hands. To God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory? in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raised him from the dead, and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. 
And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> <clears throat> After 40 days of Easter, we celebrate this solemn feast of ascension. That means that Jesus, after his resurrection, he stayed with the disciples and made the appearance to them, and he was with them to affirm them that he was alive. And after 40 days, being with them, affirming them, then he was taken up to heaven. And that's what this festival is we celebrate today, the Feast of Ascension. As we celebrate this Feast of Ascension, Jesus was taken up to heaven. One question may arise in our mind. Why didn't Jesus stay with us all the time? And why did he go up to heaven? And why should he uh, go after 40 days? Here is the answer he himself gives in the John's Gospel. Now I'm going to the one who sent me. And not one, one of you asked me, 
where are you going? And because he told them that I am going to go, there was a grief, there, there was sadness filled in the, the apostles' hearts. But he told them, but I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. What did he say? He said, it is better for you that I should go. For if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. I mean, the Holy Spirit will not come to you. You know, after this, reading this passage, it comes to my mind. How many of you, as a parent, would like to see your parents, your children, living with you after 30 years old? And of course, as you raise children, then and when you see them little kids, they're trying to talk to you with uh, Papa, Mama, then they're happy. You're happy to hear the little child speaking, right? Now, after 20 years, this little child, this, the child has grown physically, still is calling you Papa, Mama, Mommy, then what do you think? then the child has not, child has not grown. That we want the child to grow and mature. After 20 years and 30 years, we want, the parents want the children to grow and go and be independent. And we want them to be, want them to grow matured. Am I right? You don't want to hold them all the times. You don't, want to sit, you don't want to babysit them all their life. And that's what Jesus, if you apply the same principle here. And Jesus trained them three days, it was three years. Jesus gave them all the instruction. And he showed them the way that you need to, everyone you need to take up your cross and die on the cross. And after three days you will be resurrected. And you saw the resurrection, and you saw the, the life after death, witnessing with me. That's what Jesus says to the disciples. Then after that, and he says goodbye to them. It is better for, it is better for you that I go. That means I stop babysitting you now. So now you need to go and mature. And you have to do your work. And that's what we heard in the first reading. The angels came, appeared from the sky. And what did the angels say? And said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? And Jesus, this Jesus who had been taken up from, from you into heaven, will return the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. And as Jesus left, he didn't say to the disciples, now boys, and go and take a rest and sleep well. No. He said, now after I leave you, the Holy Spirit is going to come to you. The Holy Spirit is going to give you all the powers. And after receiving the Holy Spirit, ye have to get into action. Go into the nations and preach the good news. Heal the sick and baptize the people in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And I am going to be with you always to the end. So he commissioned them an action. So as he left, he said, now you are on your own. You are matured, you are grown up, and go into action. So this Feast of Ascension calls for an action. It is not just celebrating that Jesus was taken up to heaven. Oh, fine, good. But much more than that, this feast calls for an action. That as Jesus was taken up to heaven, he calls us. And he gives us the commandment, go into the world, go into the nations, bring the good news. And that's what we all call to do. Even in the time of 
challenges and difficulties. We need to ask ourselves the question, the Holy Spirit is upon me. How am I going to give the good news to the people who are, who are in, in, in suffering, who are poor? How am I going to baptize the children and how am I going to baptize other people bringing the good news? So this means, the feast means, as we are going to celebrate joyfully because one day you and I will be ascended into heaven along with Jesus, but we need to also remind ourselves his commandment, bringing the good news to others. So he is the way and he is the truth and he calls us for an action, the action of bringing good news to others. So how you and I make this feast a reality today. And when we are going to bring the good news to those people, maybe an exercise that, you, that I already gave you at the day, other time, that call other people in this time. We cannot visit them one-on-one. -on -one. Call them and uh, maybe um, uh, what the other ways to do. Maybe uh, email, email people and Tell them that you care for them. Bring the good news of Jesus Christ. Bring the love of Jesus Christ to those people who are alone and lonely. And this is the time, this is an opportunity of evangelization. This is an opportunity of bringing good news to Jesus. And this is an opportunity to grow in faith. It is an opportunity to get, get matured in our faith. So that we will be adults, not as a children in faith. Amen. We learn to preach to others in the school of faith. So, let us pray together. I believe in God, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Before Jesus was taken up to heaven, he assures us, I am with you always until the end of the age. With the faith in his words, let us bring our needs before him. For the leaders of the church with apostolic fervor, <clears throat> may they carry out Jesus' commission to bring the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in elected office, may they be granted wisdom and discernment in making decisions for the common good, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been displaced from their homes due to war, violence, illness, or natural disasters, may they find shelter and safety and welcome, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our parish community, may the eyes of our hearts be enlightened to Christ's presence among us in word, sacrament, and one another, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those infected with the coronavirus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For business owners, the unemployed, and those that have been furloughed from their jobs, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For students, teachers, and schools, as they continue to explore education in uncharted ways, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. On this Memorial Day weekend, let us remember those who have died in service for our country and for Bernice Coles, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all married couples, especially Michael and Thana Rock them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of salvation, your son Jesus ascends into heaven to sit at your right hand. Hear our prayers that all might come to know your merciful love and to live in the light of your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer this sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realities. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lonely state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, filled with the paschal joy, every land, every people rejoice in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic, angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life and this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Bishop, and all the clergy, and all of you here, and all of you participating virtually in this Mass today. And also for the, all the married couples, especially Michael and Tana Ranjitham, who are celebrating the 50th anniversary of their wedding, that God will unite them with the courts of love always. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all have died in your mercy, especially those men and women who gave their life generously for our nation. And those people affected and died due to coronavirus. And those people and the family members who have gone to eternal rest. We remember them in our prayers. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Reminded of Jesus' commandment to go forth to bring the good news to others. Let us pray for the strength as he taught us. Our Father, Lord, 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 Lord be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, not forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace and love. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace. of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you Behold Jesus Christ, who ascended into heaven to give us the greatest of hope that he has gone to prepare a place for us and he is always there to welcome us. Happy are we are called to his banquet. Lord. Lord. May the body and blood of Christ bring us life everlasting. Amen.
let us pray almighty and ever living god you allow those on earth to celebrate these divine mysteries grant we pray that christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you we ask this through christ our lord amen please continue to check our website www.smm/gv.org for the latest updates and happenings at st margaret mary if you would like to make an appointment to receive holy communion on saturday from 5 to 6 p.m. or sunday 10 to 11 a.m. please sign up through our website or text call or email tim or camille in the office following the final blessing her closing song will be hail the day that sees him rise we will sing three verses i think there's a correction the communion time tomorrow communion will be distributed saturday 4:30 to 5:30 p.m. and sunday and uh, sunday 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and uh, i know you might have heard in the news that the archdiocese and the bishops in minnesota are uh, planning to start mass from next week and onwards so i will i am working with the team and we'll get more details and i will email you or put in a website more details and what we are trying to do and there are lots of other things we need to do and lots of protocols on uh, how to protect uh, uh, virus and uh, and where we are going to distribute communion more details are we are working on more details and we will get back to you either uh through email or through uh, our website and uh, please uh, look those websites and we will uh start or most probably will start mass for the next week and onwards in a limited scale i will give you more details and we will continue our communion um through by appointment so that also will be det- i will give you more details on that so i know many people already emailed me ask me whether we will continue the communion as we do now by appointment and i would say yes we will continue whatever we do we will continue giving the communion and especially elderly people um, people about 65 we don't uh, we encourage them not to come and so for such people can come and receive communion continue to receive jesus so more details uh, you see in the emails or call us and then we will give more details and thank you very much and uh, be happy jesus uh, ascended and uh, keep the smile in spite of all the lockdown and everything and uh, again as i said in the homily it is an opportunity of evangelization bringing good news to good news of Jesus to others the lord be with you with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen let us go in peace to love and serve the lord thanks be to god. god have a nice day